Excuse me, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. I wish I could spend more than a few minutes with you, but the polls don't close in the East for another hour, and there are plenty of election results still left to falsify. <laughs> you know, with so many people participating in the political and social debate through call-in shows, it's a good idea to be reminded every once in a while. <clears throat> it's a good idea to be reminded of the awesome impact, of the awesome impact I'm sorry, uh, you're Dr. Jenna Jacobs, right? Yes, sir. It's good to have you here. Thank you. The awesome impact of the airwaves and how that translates into the furthering of our national discussions, but obviously also how it can, <clears throat> how it can, forgive me, Dr. Jacobs, uh, are you an MD? A PhD. A PhD. Yes, sir. In psychology? No, sir. Theology? No. Social work? I have a PhD in English literature. I'm asking because on your show people call in for advice and you go by the name Dr. Jacobs on your show and I didn't know if maybe your listeners were confused by that and assumed you had advanced training in psychology, theology, or health care. I don't believe they are confused, no, sir. Good. I like your show. I like how you call homosexuality an abomination. I don't say homosexuality is an abomination, Mr. President. The Bible does. Yes, it does. Leviticus. 18.22. Chapter and verse. I wanted to ask you a couple of questions while I had you here. I'm interested in selling my youngest daughter into slavery, as sanctioned in Exodus 21.7. She's a Georgetown sophomore, speaks fluent Italian, always cleared the table when it was her turn. What would a good price for her be? While thinking about that, can I ask another? My chief of staff, Leo McGarry, insists on working on the Sabbath. Exodus 35.2 clearly says he should be put to death. Am I morally obligated to kill him myself, or is it okay to call the police? Here's one that's really important, because we've got a lot of sports fans in this town. Touching the skin of a dead pig makes one unclean. Leviticus 11.7. If they promise to wear gloves, can the Washington Redskins still play football? Can Notre Dame? Can West Point? Does the whole town really have to be together to stone my brother John for planting different crops side by side? Can I burn my mother in a small family gathering for wearing garments made from two different threads? Think about those questions, would you? One last thing. While you may be mistaking this for your monthly meeting of the ignorant tight-ass club, in this building when the president stands, nobody sits. Toby. Yes, Mr. President. That's how I beat him. I'm just going to take that crap off. <laughs> 